Hola, Captain Jess Molina your pilot for today's landing challenge into Pico, Pico, Portugal. We will be flying the King Air 350i with Ace Sims in the right seat. Aloha, the Sims here. Landing at King Air 350i at LPPI Pico Airport on runway 27 with a 30 knot crosswind from the south, 180 degrees, will be quite challenging. Here's a description of what you might expect. Tell him Jess. Approach. Wind. You'll be facing a strong headwind component of 30 knots from the south, which will require careful handling to maintain control. Ace, take it away. Runway 27 is 1,655 meters long, about a mile long and 45 meters wide, with a hard surface. Hey Jess shoots. Coach him up on some approach techniques. Sure thing Ace. You'll need to crab significantly to maintain your approach path. Adjusting your heading to compensate for the crosswind. Use rudder inputs to keep the aircraft aligned with the center line during the final approach. Be cautious not to overcorrect, as excessive rudder can lead to a loss of control, especially on a wet deck. Hey Jess shoots. This fog is really limiting visibility. I'll keep an eye out for the airport. Pico Traffic King Air Uniform Juliet 5 turning base to final runway 27 Pico. As you get closer to the runway, transition from crabbing to a side slip by using ailerons into the wind and opposite rudder to keep the nose aligned. This will help you touch down smoothly. The King Air 350, I can handle crosswinds up to 20 knots safely. A 30 knot crosswind is beyond the typical limits, so extra caution is required. Always be ready to execute a go around if the approach becomes unstable or if you feel you're losing control. Aim for a firm but controlled touchdown keeping the upwind main wheel down first to prevent drifting. As we say in the Jess Molina flight school, play like you just don't care. care. King Air Wheel. Butter. Center, Center cut. cut. Be prepared for strong gusts during braking and rollout. Use appropriate braking techniques to maintain directional control. The judges were gnarly harsh. Debrief and repeat. 